determine the intervals on which the function is continuous. So we have four different uh, examples in this problem. Let's maybe start with the one over here on the far right. So this function here will be continuous. Um, well, 3 is a continuous function, right? It's defined everywhere. And the square root of x is continuous as long as it's defined, right? If you look at the graph of the square root function, it looks something like this. So there's no holes or breaks, so it's certainly going to be continuous. The only time it's not continuous is where it's not defined. So the domain for the square root function is all of the x's that are greater than or equal to 0. So in this case, the function is continuous everywhere in its domain, so 0 to infinity. So that would be the answer to the last part over here. Let's skip over to the first one over here. So here we have a fraction. And so the fraction is undefined when x is equal to 0. So in this case here, x can't be 0. right? Because if it is 0, you would have the square root of 0, which is 0. And at the same time, x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So putting both of these conditions together gives you x greater than 0. So in this case, the domain would be 0 to infinity. So 0 to infinity. That would be the domain of the function, and that would be where it's continuous, right? So it's continuous everywhere it's defined. Same thing in this one. This one will be continuous everywhere it's defined. So here you just take whatever's inside the square root, and you set it greater than or equal to 0. Because whatever's in the square root can't be negative, so it has to be 0 or positive. Then you just subtract 3. And in this case, the interval on which it's continuous would be bracket negative 3 to infinity. And again, this is just the domain, right? These functions are continuous everywhere they're defined. The last one here is cosine of 1 over x. Well, cosine of x is continuous everywhere. But 1 over x causes a problem, and you guessed it, it's when x equals 0. So in this case, x cannot be equal to 0. So we're excluding 0. So it'd be everything except 0. So the answer here would be negative infinity to 0 union 0 to infinity. That would be the domain of the function, and that would be where it's continuous. That's it.